and welcome to an SH Vegas review of the special edition X8 beginners pack. Uh, I am very late with this video because the regular editions of e all three of these figures have already come out. Uh, they come in just regular sort of smaller size SH Rick House boxes that we see a lot these days now. Uh, pretty much the same size as you see here. Uh, the boxes are slightly thinner and uh, they just sort of have a black box with some sort of little pink squares or blue squares going on. And a lot of people are buying those because A, they're cheaper than this box put together. Um, at first they cost more and then they're a little cheaper, but uh, this one does have some extra stuff as we'll see momentarily. And people are make, also getting the single packs because uh, they're customizing stuff. For example, a lot of people are making their own Kamen Rider Gem, just you know, repainting the X8 figure into a dark purple color. And there you go, you already have your uh, figure ready. So, uh, free pack here. <laughs> I'm so behind on this one. Um, it's Saturday and I filmed like some like 10, 15 videos, just trying to get them all out. And, uh, yep, just like uh, other X8 products, DX products mostly, uh, the box is back to front. You got the, f the back here, but even though this is supposed to be the front of the box, the way it opens up, for example, you see, look, it opens up this way. And it opens up this way. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, getting people to buy all three figures before the regular versions come out as individual packages, because um, a lot of people tend to just buy the hero and then... Some people get the second or third character, but not always, so this this way they bring this out first and people are gonna go, oh wait, um, I want it, I can't wait, so I'm gonna get all three. And as a slide, that out. No backing card for this one because uh, there's already something in the back of the box. So here we have the instruction sheet. As always, if you wanna take a closer look at the instructions, box art, and accessories, and photo shoot the figures, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link or Facebook link in the video description below. So, yep, this thing has a bottom tray here that has the bonus stage. So let's just pop this tray open. It comes off really easily. And get this out. This is literally a reprint of the Gaim stage, uh, the bonus order. If you remember when you buy Cameron and Gaim Orange Arms, the first SH figure that was released, or Baron, he got some bonus items. Gaim came with this sort of plate with the uh, sort of black plastic with the four main Gaim logos of the four main riders and printed in gold on the floor. Very much like the intro of Comrade Gaim. Uh, and then Baron came with a fold out cardboard uh, background, a gold background that was like a samurai theme background that you again also would see in the music videos and the intro. And here we have a transparent black plastic with Mighty Action X printer on it. Um, there are three holes on the back. Now that's a bit different to the Gaim one. Uh, I remember correctly, the Gaim one didn't have any holes. But these holes are meant for plugging in stage ack arms, which do not come with this set. That's really stupid. Like, hey, here's a stage ack thing, but you can actually, well, we don't have the items here for you. Uh, and the way this box is packaging, the weapons for our main characters are placed in the bottom tray here. Brave Sword. Uh, I got the AB buttons, they're painted very nicely. And on the other side you see there's a hole there for your gashat to plug in. Now the riders do come with gashats, but they're not complete gashats. They're just a handlebar with a little bit uh, sticking out of it. Uh, so you don't get a full mini gashat, which is a shame since we're just getting come right a double with tiny guy memories. We got guy with lock seeds. That's yeah, a shame. And uh, this bit does rotate much like it does in the show, so that's cool. That's something that it does. You got ice side or fire side or whatever. Uh, next we have um, Snipe's gun, and it is printed again pretty nicely, colored very nicely as well. Um, no actual fold out action on it, but uh, you take this piece off and you attach this piece in. There we go. And again, you also have a slot there for the not gashat to plug in. And uh, yep, very detailed, very nice. The A, B buttons are also very clear, so you can just do that. Let me just plug this back in. You know, surprising that they actually put a bit of detail underneath here, even though this is a piece that you want to take off, you're just going to put it away because that's just how this works. And uh, of course we have the Mighty Action Axis Hammer. I mean, is this really necessary? One handlebar for both of them? You, they couldn't just... Uh, that's really dumb. So the handlebar sticks into the hammer. Fair enough. Uh, the hammer looks good, just like it doesn't show. you got, again, the gash out slot there. And you know, all the paint jobs and stuff. And 
unplug that and then plug it into the sort mode. Again, is that necessary? Why couldn't both of these just have a handle? Uh, it's not like there's any gimmick or functions with that. It, it's just that, unless you say, oh, look, we've got a broken hammer. Um, that's dumb. That's cheap. Uh, that's pretty crap. I, I hate it that they've done that. The main tray, let's see, pop, pop the four corners. Come on. There we go. Slide this up. And. Clink. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, apart from the fists on all of them, can I fold it? Yep, there we go. So, apart from the fists attached on each figure, uh, let's see. X8 has, of course, his hammer and salt holding hand. Got the relaxed hands. They got the spray open display hands that he does posing. Uh, snipe here, fists, and then he has, um, yeah, posing hands he does. And then we got the relaxed hands, and we got the gun holding hands, of course. And then he has the sword holding hands, he got the spray open hands, relaxed hands, and some palm hands. Like, there's nothing I cannot cut. So, just a quick close look at these figures before we move on to articulation. You can see that they do have a compound eye effect, much like in the show, they actually do that. Uh, you should just look at the orange rim around there, the red ring around there, and the yellow on Brave right there, there is a compound eye effect. And all three of these figures have their respective rider gauges on their chest. And uh, even him, like, uh, shoot, break, snipe right there, you can see that you can. <laughs> This piece is actually quite loose and you move it out the way, you can see he also has regular eyes and compound effects on that side as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, moving down at the belts, you can see it does have a gashat sticking out and if you want to, the gashat does go into the critical strike, critical finish slot. It plugs in there quite snugly. Um, they can fall out and you will have a painful day trying to search for them, but they stick in there quite snugly. And if you want to, you can close it and um, open it up to level up again if you want to. Each rider belt also has two gashat slots, so you can plug a second one in there, but I don't see a point for that right now, apart from maybe animation, like you plug one in and you actually bought some of the other gash uh, SH3 guards where they've they're level 5 and whatnot. So far they've released the one with the Dragon Hunter, so you can do that. Uh, gashats do not plug into the orange slots, which seems silly that they don't. Um, kind of makes sense if you can plug them in there. And um, they don't come with any extra gashats for display purposes, just to plug in, uh, which is, I think, kind of annoying. And we down the bottom off, we have the same feet, of course, just different colors. And the matte color on the Brave is very nice. I'm just going to turn them around. See the weird head mass thing that they have on the back. And yep, yeah, all these are very good. Um, I don't think it's transparent plastic. No, the blacks are flat blacks. Uh, shiny paint, but uh, yeah, no, they're not actually transparent. Sometimes uh, Bandai surprises us when they do stuff like that, where you think, oh, it's just going to be black, but then it's transparent. But no, in this case, it's just black. Um, And uh, before we move on to articulation, one last final look at the Gashat. You can see they're painted correctly. They have black on one side and then the respective colors on the other, but there's no details. There's no decals or prints on any of them. It doesn't actually say Mighty Action X, so it's kind of like the uh, ghost icons. They're just generic icon with color. So that's a bit of a shame, as again, especially when we have guy memories with tons of prints on them. Uh, and do we really need version 2s of these guys? I don't think so, because the proportions are pretty good on these guys compared to the uh, the real bone ones that they do, you know, come like Double and Cougar and all that. So, uh, I mean, they're still artistically slightly skinnier than what they should be, but for the most part, if I put these next to the more expensive real bone figures, they look good enough. So it's very annoying. It's like they're almost there, but they just left a tiny bit out. Ugh. Uh, he does have a collar there that gets in the way. Uh, speaking of <laughs> Gashats being quite secure, this one just fell out. So let me just stick that back in. It's uh, it's not as nowhere near as bad as the Forza driver on the figure arts, but um, it's, it's, it's getting a bit annoying. Whoops. 
Uh, neck girl this way, looks down a little bit, looks up quite a lot. Shoulder pads are hinged on the arm. Uh, double arm socket joint, arm goes up, arm goes down, you gotta push this back up yourself. Full rotation on the upper arm, Low, double elbow joint, hand is on a ball peg that swivels. Uh, torso goes back, ooh, really back, really forward, sideways, sideways, and uh, leg goes forward, backwards, sideways. Full rotation here, hmm, it feels very smooth. There's also like there's a huge gap there, so people who repaint these themselves can probably do a, a nice job of it. Uh, foot goes down, up, double knee joint, toe joint goes 80 degrees I'd say and a uh, very detailed print at the bottom of the shoes. So the articulation for these guys are all going to be quite similar um, yeah because they don't really have anything blocking them so that's something. Uh, he has this little shield thing that um, no it doesn't become big or anything there's no extra parts for it. So really the, only, the biggest articulation difference is going to be this guy because he has a huge cape there so it does block his head a little bit. It's good that this thing is well loose so he can get out the way. It's probably why it's loose. Uh, I got some hinges here for his cape. It's all made out of hard plastic. You can open it up quite a fair bit. You see, it's got a weird sort of arm sticking out there. Uh, ball joints on both sides to get to some articulation. He has a shoulder pad underneath here that didn't cheap out on us, so it is there, just like the other arm. So, if, if minus the cape, the rest of the articulation underneath that arm is still the same, but it just gets in the way. Don't like this sound. That screechy. Why? 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 And there goes his Geshat falling out. All three of these figures are painted very nicely. The articulation moves smoothly for the most part. Uh, Ixade and Snipe have a bit of a shoulder issue where it does the k -k 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 sounds and that kinda sucks. Uh, the accessories are a little bit lame without a handlebar for both of uh, Hammer and Swordmill for Ixade's item. That's just really really dumb. And while it does have a nice stage, it's very pretty, it doesn't come with some obvious accessories when you buy a special item like this, for example, maybe some transparent cards for when they uh, press the Gesha, you got the Mighty Action Axe logo or Title Quest logo on the back, none of that, although uh, some of those images were put online by, I'm not sure if fans were able to copy or redraw them, so you can download them online if you need to. Uh, there's also no, like, Pow, Sap, or whatever effect sounds, uh, but those were released online. Uh, AI files were released online from official sources, so you can download those as well. Um, and while it does have a nice stage, the stage doesn't come with any stage jack arms to actually plug into it, which just seems just ugh, it's annoying. Uh, there's also no extra random gashats, just different colored ones. Since they're not printing any labels on them anyway, they could give us a few more, but nope. Uh, so well, this is a nice full box that was a decent price to get these nice figures in. I feel like the accessories were just somehow lacking. It just doesn't feel special. Um, if you're not too bothered about that plate of a stage, then you might as well just get the regular editions uh, since they're cheaper now anyway. So that's that. But the figures themselves, they're very, very nicely done. They're almost as good as the quality of the real bone ones, just minus a few niggles here and there. So if you like X8 and um, you know you like what you see here, then I definitely recommend this. It's a high quality SH Trick Arts release. A lot of people don't like the look of this and say, hey, it's not really Kamen Rider. But uh, I like the show a lot and uh, I look forward to getting the final form of X8 and I do want to get one or two other forms of him. Um, perhaps uh, and see how that goes. One more thing I will note that uh, some people have uh, modified these figures um, easily to be able to attach it to the level up toys, the toy gimmick line that's in the same scale. So I'm, I bought two of those. I'm gonna see um, how hard or how easy it is to attach the gimmick line armor packs on to an SH Figarts. And if that if it's not too hard, then that'd be a great way to get the SH Figarts. Get some of those armor packs and you don't need to buy all the random SH Figarts forms that they bring out later. So you can save a lot of money and um, yeah, that'd be cool.